I'm Scott with Enabling Tech here in Denver, Colorado, and in this segment we are going to talk about the Bi-Skis that we have to offer, the Bi-Unique here on my right and the Dynamique on my left. Uh, the Bi-Unique has been around for over 20 years, and the Dynamique is going into its fifth season. Um, we've got some big differences between the two, and I'll touch on that in a minute, but first I want to start with what makes a Bi-Ski a Bi-Ski. Um, the two skis underneath are the main giveaway. Bike skis versatility make them a great tool for teaching and learning how to sit ski. Um, pretty much anybody from able-bodied skiers to quadriplegics, paraplegics, uh, those with amputees, MS, things like that, they all benefit from that low ride height, stability, um, center gravity that the bike skis provide. You can just see how low the bike unique is here. Um, like I said, it's, it's been around over 20 years. It's kind of known as the iron horse in the adaptive world. They're skied all over the world, anywhere from New Zealand to Asia, North America, of course, Europe. Um, we still make these, they're still produced, and uh, they are still sought after because they're so reliable and they're a great tool for learning on. Um, as you can see, we've got fixed outriggers on this one, which add stability. They're sort of like pontoons on a boat, and um, as you turn, they, they help to stabilize the ski and keep it upright for someone that might not have as much core strength and stability um, and athleticism needed to balance that ski on their own. Both bike skis can be skied independently or with a buddy, depending on the needs of the skier and their progression level. On um, the bike unique here, you can see that we've got the fixed handle and there's also points on the back, tether points where you can attach straps for speed control where a ski buddy would hold onto the back. Uh, the Bi Unique is mostly skied on greens, maybe some blues, but almost always groomed runs, um, fairly gradual slopes, and the type of skier that's in there is a novice to maybe pushing intermediate. Um, but there's sort of a ceiling here in the Bi Unique, and one of the reasons for creating the Dynamic here was to push through that ceiling, um, kind of bridge a new gap, and we've got a dynamic suspension system underneath that I'm gonna let Bobby take over and talk about more. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bobby, an engineer with Enabling Technologies, and I'm going to walk you through some of the finer points of the Dynamique Bi-Ski. When we designed the Dynamique, we were able to take years of experience with the Bi-Unique and channel it into an improved Bi-Ski. The Dynamique kind of picks up where the Bi-Unique leaves off. It's a great school that can go all the way to independent skiers. Um, first thing we did was we add suspension and we used a more advanced suspension design called A-Arms that are commonly seen on mono skis. This gives a little bit more of an improved ride, but more importantly it let us engineer where the ski is in the up position. The load system works by moving this lever forwards. In the up position with the lever forwards, the ski is fully locked out. At the load here line, you can pull the lever back and it's now tensioned to load the chairlift. When you lift up to sit on the chair, it'll unlock and then it gives you the control to sit down in the chairlift. This allows independent skiers to fully take over and have control of how they load the chairlift. We also wanted to make sure that this ski was program friendly. 
This meant that seats could easily be changed out and that a variety of footrests could be used for different skiers. We offer three footrests, an adult, junior, and child's. They adjust on this horizontal axis, so each skier has the same low center of gravity. And the ankle can be adjusted with these clamps out front. We offer three widths of seats, and they can easily be adjusted via the dump bracket to change the skier's angle. Up back, we worked in several features to help assist the skiers. Most notably is the handle. This can be used to help drive the skier down the mountain in a hands-on lesson. We offer a wide handle that's kind of like a mountain bike handlebar, and a narrow handle that's good for when you're just helping a skier through a flat section, through a lift line, or things like that. When a lesson's mostly tethered, we recommend using the narrow handle because the tethers won't get caught up in the ears of the wide handle. We've got several connection points. Um, a single tether in the middle can also be used as a chairlift safety strap location. We've got two high tether locations that are good for carving and leaning the ski, as well as two low tether locations that are good for narrow trails when you need to control, scrub speed, and wash the tails. Overall, these features make for a really versatile bi ski. It's great for new skiers because it's easy to fit, set up, and use, as well as its unintimidating load system. While for more advanced independent skiers, it gives them the freedom to explore the mountain with suspension and performance.